Hey, it's John Reed. I'm live from Consensus 2016. I've got my first podcast victim. I've got Ned from Steam at What's Going On. Hey, John. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff. Pretty exciting yeah. conference. You're a really good sport walking around trying to find the quietest room. Believe it or not, listeners, this is the quietest room we could find. So We have been to three yeah. floors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two elevator rides. <laughs> yeah. This is as good as it's going to get. But uh, hopefully it's pretty good sound. And uh, the reason we're here to talk uh, with Ned today is I've been looking for some blockchain solutions that were not tied directly to the f finance industry and you guys are upstarts and as of tomorrow morning there's a uh, some big news coming out what's that that's right that's right steemit is 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 uh, you know going live for the public steemit.com yeah. um, so you can download the app well 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 you can go to the website you go to the website <laughs> yeah stand corrected uh, you can do it on your mobile phone, though. You can do it on your mobile phone. And it looks phone. good on the mobile because we just did a mobile demo. Native so. app coming soon. To be announced. To be announced, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, so we can call it, kind of call this the soft launch. You know, it's really the beta yeah. that's coming out. And, uh, you know, we're working out the kinks a little bit, but we think it's an exciting idea. Um, so that's why we want to invite, you know, people to come and, and see what we're doing. So you guys are actually addressing a couple of really crucial problems that in my opinion, media companies, content creators, and consumers are all facing, which is the fact that the web has really deteriorated as a quality platform for both earning money if you're a company, but also having a good reader experience. And so you guys are tackling that from a couple different angles. That's right. That's right. So so we're, we're bringing the blockchain to social media, and, and we're doing that to address the problems of you know, content creation for one, you know, where content creators, as you may know, John, have a difficult time making money without leveraging advertising. Right. Um, and so what we're actually building is a social media platform, kind of like a reddit.com, kind of like a Twitter, where anyone can come along and post content. It could be a blog post, it could be a meme, uh, you know, it could be, you know, a question. And the better that post is received, so the more it's appreciated or upvoted by the community, the more that poster will earn, and they're actually earning this virtual currency called Steam. Right. Um, so, so suddenly you have incentivized content creation, all peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, now on the flip side, so it's not just posting that's incentivized, it's voting. So right. the earlier you find a post that ends up being becoming popular and, you know, elevating on the site, the more you can earn from that as well. So, so what we think we've really stumbled upon is the idea that we can incentivize social media and incentivize posting and voting in such a way that we can create a really positive online experience for people, where now people have the incentive to take that extra step to write thoughtful responses, to help one another and really drive a, 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 an inclusive community of positive people. Right. And part of the issue that I think we're dealing with there is that from a, from a media perspective, a lot of the commenting that you see in blog posts and social is, is just not only is it not wouldn't pass the basic expectations of human civility, but it's it's just nasty, really. Oh, everyone has experienced that. Yeah. You know, you go online, you try to write some sort of insightful response, and there's always somebody out there who's got a bone to pick with you yeah. or just wants to see you yeah. get upset. You know, so trolling just is troll rampant. Yeah, yeah. It's just rampant. It doesn't matter if you're on Yahoo. Right. Maybe you have it on Diginomica, you know, yeah. a little bit. but We get a little, yeah. A little trolling, you know. Um, and that's fine. But, you know, in a system where the positive stuff rises to the top and perhaps where people sort of have to have a long-standing reputation online with their account to actually get the upvotes that turn into positive rewards, you know, you're far less likely to get all that trolling. Right. Because people want to develop a reputation. They, they want to have an identity, whether, you know, it's a real identity or, or a pseudo-anonymous identity. They want to have an identity that other people appreciate. Right. And that will help them uh, be rewarded by the community for their contributions. Right. And, and so the, the secret sauce from, from a blockchain perspective is that all this that you're describing is essentially powered by a peer-to-peer -peer system. It's all powered yeah. by this peer-to-peer -peer system. It all started with Bitcoin, you know, back in 2009 or 2010 or whatever, uh, you know, which was the first blockchain database where you had these tokens that you could transfer yeah. between people. And, and, you know, 
we took that idea, uh, my business partner in particular, Dan Larimer, began working on blockchain databases about three years ago. Bit of a tech genius, Dan, right? Bit of, bit of a tech genius. Yeah. You know, this guy is great. He's a rock star. Uh, if you ever got the chance to meet him, sparks would fly. He's yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. And, you know, he has, he has been in this space for a long time, coming up with some innovative solutions. But it wasn't until recently, about four months ago, that we sort of stumbled upon this business model, the idea that you could incentivize content creation. Right. And incentivize curation, the voting and all that, that we realized, you know, we've got something powerful here. You know, everyone knows how to use social media. You know, you just go right. online, you read stuff, you vote on stuff, you post stuff, it's easy. The current state of the blockchain space has such a high barrier to entry. You've maybe heard of the term mining, right. or you've heard that there are Bitcoin exchanges, you know, these are the only ways to really get Bitcoin. You have to you have to be able to you know do certain technical things that that most people can't do. Um, so we have a platform where it's so easy to come along and earn virtual currency and participate in this online economy. Um, and you know, so we think that's really powerful on the social media front, and we think it's powerful on the blockchain cryptocurrency front as well. Right. And there have been some rudimentary attempts at this in the past in the sense of like you know reddit's got its up bone up vote and down vote and i've you've heard about a couple systems that claim to distribute a little bit of money to content producers through micro payments and stuff but i guess you think that you've taken it to a different level than that right 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 so i i think the the the, the example you brought up with reddit is a really good example because they sort of looked at these ideas back in 2014. They were so excited about the ideas, they actually hired a team of Bitcoin blockchain experts to help them integrate a virtual currency. And they had some plans to, I, I believe, tie that virtual currency to the value of their equity, you know, that was trading on the public markets. Right. Uh, or, or maybe they would have issued it on public markets. But that opened up a huge regulatory can of worms. It wasn't really achievable. On the technical side, you know, it's very difficult to create a blockchain that's able to distribute payments to millions of people. So right. we were facing all those challenges. How do you create a blockchain, you know, keep everything peer to peer and, and achieve all the, the, the technical, you know, thresholds that you need to achieve to be able to distribute these points, right. you know? But Reddit is such a great example because, you know, if you think about it, you know, people go to Reddit and, and it's a community. People are there, you know, talking about everything under the sun. And if they do a lot of that, they earn karma. Karma is, is Reddit's point system. Right. Right. But the points, you know, they're just for show today. Right. You know, so, so the analogy is good that, that, that that's what's going on with Reddit. And, and with Steemit, those points, that karma actually has real monetary value. You earn it, and if you want, you can sell it, you can hold on to it. If you hold on to it, it helps give you more voting yeah. power, so yeah. you get influence in the system. So yeah. there's a few layers in here that we've actually taken advantage yeah. of to gamify Reddit yeah. to, to an even, you know, a greater level, you know? Yeah, and we're not gonna get our listeners too far down the rabbit hole of, of, of the magic of how that's done, um, but I think a couple things are interesting to point out. One is that that you've tied the value of the financial rewards to the dollar, so it's not a huge speculative thing where someone's money could go away the next day. That seems like a key point. That's right. So, so in designing this, you know, we totally understand that the regular person, you know, the everyman, probably doesn't want to get involved in the speculation of cryptocurrency. Right. So the way we designed the system was to reward people with a token that's actually pegged to the dollar. People around the world love the dollar. Right. You know, some people, you know, don't love it and they like gold, but, yeah. you know, a, a lot of people like the dollar. So, so we created this really cool token that pegs the dollar. Like you said, we don't have to go down that rabbit hole today. Yeah. But the other thing that, that uh, posters and voters are rewarded with, getting some feedback there. Let's just, <laughs> let's, uh, let's backtrack about 30 seconds because I'm going to actually edit that out. <laughs> so just go back just a little bit um, to the people like the dollar. It's pegged to the dollar. Start there. Right. So so people like the dollar, you know. So the way we designed uh, the rewards uh, was so that posters and voters would be rewarded with both a sort of steam dollar. 
So yeah. the, the virtual currency is kind of called Steam. So so then we have the Steam dollar. Yeah, yeah. That they're rewarded with, and they're also rewarded with the Steam power. Now this is Steam with two E's. Right. Right. So it's kind of like Steam or something like that. But anyway, they get the Steam power. Now the Steam power is really great because it gives the user voting power it gives them influence within the system right and when they have that influence they can do more upvoting and upvoting is one of those things that actually helps them get rewarded more so we've created a system where people are incentivized to come and participate positively and continue to participate positively and continue leveraging their influence and you know we think that this has the power to really you know build the community right and without going into too much detail, the way you have it set up, there's a certain amount of uh, steam, uh, what he coins or what do you call them? You call them coins, steam, tokens, points. Tokens. I like calling them points lately. They have to be <laughs> distributed every day regardless. Right. So the point is they're going out. So you, might as, the, you, the community, readership, might as well dictate where you think those should go. Right, exactly. So, so the database every day. Right. says there's going to be so much more steam created today. It's just going to happen. It's it's set. There are specific rules. Yeah. Now it's the community's job to decide where those new points, those new tokens should go yeah. to. And so through the 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 Steemit website, you know, the community is going through it's looking at all the posts and through the process of voting on these right. posts, they're deciding where those new tokens go to. Right. So we've created a way that, that anyone can show up and earn. It's a huge opportunity, very low barrier to entry. All you need is an internet connection. And suddenly there's a way that you can contribute online and right. actually be rewarded for it. Yeah. Which I think is powerful, you know? Yeah, 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 that is. And another interesting logistical point, just for those thinking about how this works, yes, you can visit the site. You can visit the Steam site. But you're also going to have the option going forward to be able to pull that into what what infrastructure you're using, right? So if you're using WordPress, you can pull it in there. So in other words, your commenting system could be tied into this blockchain that you've created. Do you want to explain that? Absolutely. So, so yeah, that's what's so versatile and so cool about this new Steam point system. It can be integrated. Right. There's, there's, there's so much social media that's already out there today it would be a shame if it all had to you know start right. over you know in a new system so so you take the 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 database layer the point system and now you integrate it with the comment section below you know any wordpress blog and now suddenly that blogger can leverage the system all the commenters all the readers can leverage that point system you know and they right. didn't have to learn anything new they're still going to the same blog they always loved right uh, it's just that when that that those posts and comments get get uploaded they now not only sit on the blog they also sit on the blockchain this this public database that that steam is working on right um so so that's kind of the cool concept so if they're on your site essentially that means if they're on your site if they're on the blockchain that means they're on your site they can actually see the post there as well right yeah. so 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 that's right so the, the post would appear in two places it would appear on the blog but it would also because it's on that shared database it would also appear right. on steamit.com yep and any other site that plugs into that database. Yep. And you guys have a, a hardcore team of six. Yeah, hard hardcore. Yeah. So so there's there's my business partner Dan, yeah. and then we've got another uh, you know uh, four programmers, all also rock stars. Um, you know, I'm based here in New York. You know, some of these guys are in different places. We've got a crew down in Virginia, another guy down in Florida, um, but it's a, it's a really cohesive, really really experienced team. And in terms of building in user feedback, you've employed Slack for that purpose. You told me you had, I think, a couple hundred people who were involved in your rollouts, like uh, kicking tires on stuff as you go. Oh, they are kicking tires. They're giving us hell, and we love it. You know, yeah. there's, there's about 200 people who have sort of showed up as early adopters. They've been helping us play with the alpha version of mm -hmm. Steemit.com, which tomorrow, you know, we'll put up the beta sticker and we'll make it more open. Um, but this crew of people, these couple hundred people, have really helped us. Uh, you know, reach a, a bare bones product that we think, you know, will be pleasing enough, you know, for, for someone who's by. Why do you by. think they've, they've made that time commitment? What What is about your platform that is exciting them to that point that they're given that time? I, I think it's the potential to, to be a part of something really big. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
in the in the blockchain space, there's been movements. You know, Bitcoin had sort of been a movement, you know, for the past six or seven years. Another blockchain platform, Ethereum, has sort of become a movement for the development community. And I think everyone in who's fact, sh- most of the hacking projects at this event were built, I think, on Ethereum, including it's the winner. Unbelievable! Yeah, how many how many projects are based on Ethereum here? And and you know that's a really powerful concept. But but what we're bringing to the table. And I think what, what our early adopter community has noticed is that we've created a platform that can be a movement for the regular person, for the everyman. Yep. And so anyone who's ever lay awake at night saying, you know, how do I be a part of something bigger, bigger than me, bigger than us, bigger than everybody, I think this is it. You know, it, there's, there's, there's entry points for everybody to get involved and contribute and be a part of something that grows. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So if... Someone is really, really new to the concepts involved in in blockchain and and Bitcoin. What would you want them to understand? Because they don't need to know all the technical details to understand the power of it, right? What do you think is the power of this? How is this different than some things we've seen in the past? Right. So so I, I like the analogy. I've heard it a few times during this conference that the blockchain represents sort of the early Internet. Where I suppose, you know, and I was too young to really recall it or to recall it today, but uh, when the internet started, there were big corporations, you know, with their intranets inviting people to come use their intranets. And then the internet appeared, which was, you know, not controlled by any single source. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons it became so powerful because all entrepreneurs and everyone could come and build on it. And there was no one who was telling them they couldn't. When a blockchain appears, it's powerful because people can show up and leverage it in whatever ways they like. Yeah. And and so it's sort of this this indestructible database out there for everyone to leverage, to get value from. And with the Steam blockchain, there's lots of incentives to do so. Cool. Well, I think we're just about at the end because usually I I chat for longer, but out of respect to the fact that Probably even with my best editing, there's going to be a little bit of background noise. We're going to wrap it up early. Any final comments? Hey, I would just like to invite everyone to steamit.com. Check out our beta. That's two E's, by the way. That's S T E E M I T. Exactly, two yeah. E's. Um, you know, we are in beta, and then the, the content rewards actually begin July 4th. Yeah. So this is a great period to come along, post stuff, vote on stuff, sign in through Facebook, test it out, and then. The rewards actually begin July 4th, so, so we'll have another you know, exciting moment then. In the meantime, come, come join us in the Slack channel at Steam, with, again with two E's, S-T-E-E-M yeah. dot Slack dot com, and come and ask questions and talk to us. We'd, we'd well, love to see like you there. I'm going to be on the channel too because I'm going to be posting this MP3 there, I guess. So that, <laughs> yeah. I'll find out for myself you, what it's you, all about. You got to post this podcast yeah. on Steam. It, you know, I that'd absolutely be great. Absolutely will. So, so my final comment to you would simply to be wish you good luck on this. I mean, I, I don't honestly, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I admire the determination. Um, and I think media models, we need new models. And so, if this can prove out a new model or, or be a part of that, then I think that's awesome because a lot of the, for the reader and the publisher right now, I think it's pretty crappy. And I don't want to see the end of this being like everything's on Facebook because that would just, I'd just rather walk walk off a bridge right now if that's how we're going to live. So <laughs> that's not my future. <laughs> it might be someone's future, but it's not mine. So, Well, I feel the same way. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.